Hello and welcome to Josie's Jungle Room where everyone is welcome and we like to have fun every single day. Well, before we get started into all of the fabulous fun that's going to be in this video, I want to invite you to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell if you want to be notified whenever I make a new video. Today is Wild Wednesday, and as you can see, we are all cheetah-licious here in the jungle room. I've got my sweet, beautiful girl, Valencia Alma, and she is in her gorgeous, soft, fleecy jammy full of beautiful cheetah-liciousness. Doesn't she look cute? I'm going to take your little bottle, little sweetheart. She is a precious, precious baby in my nursery. I don't think I've done a video focusing on her for quite some time. I did show her in her Halloween outfit. She was um, dressed up as Kitty from Monsters, Inc. for Halloween. But isn't she gorgeous? And I love this little cheetah outfit. She looks so precious in it. I'm going to bring her close so you can see her pretty little eyes and the sweet little expression on her face. She is painted very, very realistically, and I just think she is beautiful. She has long, pretty lashes, but my favorite thing about little Valencia Alma is her hair. I'm going to show you guys her hair. She has got the most beautiful, soft little newborn hair. Look at her precious little hair. She's so realistic and so sweet and beautiful. Little Valencia Alma. She is the Alma Awake from Bountiful Baby. And she is just as sweet as she can be. A little precious, cuddly sweetheart. I'm going to put her little, um, little, um, headband back on because I think she looks cute with it but I want to show you something I've been planning on showing you this baby for at least a week and today I pulled out her paperwork just to show you because she came with this beautiful book it's a whole book all about her from the artist who created her now I adopted this gorgeous girl from Mandy at Mandy's Cuddlebug Nursery at least a year ago, I meant to go back and look in my videos and see when I actually adopted her. But I wanted to show you guys this book again because it is so pretty. It has all the information about the artist. And this little stuff here, this is um, Jodakai Reborns, um, her card, her artist card. And then this is a little um, ID card so adorable that she had all these special touches with the baby in here and it's full of all these fabulous photos that she made into a beautiful scrapbook all about this sweet little precious girl so cute i've never received anything like this before and again i did adopt her from mandy at mandy's cuddlebug nursery so mandy got this initially from the artist but I was like, oh my gosh, that is so precious and sweet and beautiful. How did this one open? I forgot. There's another. Hold on a second, guys. Hold on a second. Okay, maybe it just goes this way. Yes. And then here is the birth certificate or like the card that came from the artist again, Carmen Sayez. And look on here, it's another picture of the baby, as well as it says her birthday is November 13th, 2022. Today is November 13th, and I didn't even realize that when I was pulling all this out to make her video. So it's little Valencia's birthday. Happy birthday, beautiful girl. She's so sweet. I thought that was so cool that it's actually her birthday Today, I did not write that on there. Now, on her COA, I did write all of the information um, for her COA because it was on the artist card. So I put it right on here. But today's her birthday. Happy birthday, you guys. And then she sent this really beautiful reborn care instructions and hair care. It says, avoid wearing hats and headbands or um, because 
you know, they can ruin her hair. So I don't just keep her in a headband at all times. Um, I just put the headband on her when I'm showing her or for short times, you know, if I'm taking photos of her or something to go with her outfit, just because her hair is so sweet and precious, really. It is just gorgeous. I love it. And I love to just snuggle my baby and rub her sweet little hair. She's just so beautiful and realistic to me and a fabulous little sweetheart. But the reason that I'm also showing her besides the fact that it's her birthday and she's wearing this beautiful Cheetalicious outfit for Wild Wednesday at Playful Reborn is because I adopted a twin sister for her. I adopted a twin sister. Look at this little precious one. This is Vanessa Divine. This is her twin sister, Vanessa Divine. And I also adopted her from Mandy at Mandy's Cuddlebug Nursery. I have learned the value of trading within the community. Um, I've been in the hobby now almost three years, I think almost three years, and I have spent a lot of money on dolls. If you guys didn't already know, I've spent a lot of money on dolls and like the funds that I would have had to use for dolls is pretty much depleted. I really can't um, continue to purchase more dolls unless I either trade or sell a doll. And, um, Mandy um, had a baby that I had adopted from her that she really wanted back in her nursery. And I really wanted this baby in my nursery. So we did a trade, which was so amazing. I traded her a baby that I had named Michael Divine. And I was thinking of naming this baby Michaela Divine. But then because her name is Valencia and they are twin sisters, I kind of wanted her to have a V name too. Um, so I decided that her name is Vanessa. So meet little Vanessa Divine. She was painted by Alicia's Angels and she is gorgeous too. You guys, this is the baby that I was talking about that does not have eyelashes, but I think it makes her eyes stand out even more. And I think she looks gorgeous without them with her beautiful blue eyes. And she's wearing her Cheetalicious outfit too. Don't they look so cute and precious together? They are so happy to be with each other. They are just loving each other and so sweet and cute. She has a beautiful big pink bow in her hair. Let me show you her hair. Guys, her hair is painted so pretty. Again, this is Alicia's Angels. Look at how beautiful her dark painted hair is. I think it is so pretty on this gorgeous baby. All those beautiful swirls. And she is just as cute as she can be. She's got a lot of newborn redness, maybe a little bit more than her sister. Um, but they are both gorgeous. This baby is a little smoother. Her painting style is a little bit smoother. This baby, she's got a little eczema. She's got a little eczema on her skin. <laughs> but they are both so cute. Don't they just look adorable together? Adorable, my sweet little girls. I just love this sculpt and I think they're so cute. You know, my grandma's name was Elma and um, I love my grandma so much. And I don't know if that's part of the reason why I love this sculpt so much, but look at her little lips. And just the way her little face and her expression, I just think they're so cute. This is the COA for the new one. Um, so as you can see, there's no writing on hers. Um, and I just hadn't taken the time to fill it out yet because I didn't weigh her and all of that yet. But her name is Vanessa. Vanessa Divine. So meet your new niece, Vanessa Divine, the twin sister of Valencia Alma. Aren't they cute together. It is so much fun to get new babies and to have new babies. And today um, is my day off of work. And I did um, go to the post office and mail off another baby that I'm trading with another collector for a different type of doll. So I'm, I'm really excited about that. And 
Um, I'm really going to try in this new year coming up to, instead of just continuing to purchase, 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 either trade or sell to buy if I really, really have to have a baby. But I honestly, I feel like I have so many beautiful, precious babies in my collection. I'm going to really try to focus on those and just enjoy the dolls that I have because I truly do love these babies. They bring so much joy and happiness into my life and I love having them in my collection and in my nursery and dressing them and holding them. Both of these girls are so cuddly. Oh, and I wanted to show you, she's got little kitties on her feet. Look at the little pink kitties on her Cheetalicious outfit. I think these girls are so cute together. And um, again, I've told you guys that I really enjoy having twins and triplets and I just think it's so much fun. Um, they're just beautiful together. It's fun to pose them together and take pictures of them together and for them just to be with each other and always have a special buddy that is right there with them enjoying their lives together. <laughs> Aren't they so cute? Well, thank you for checking out my little video today. And it is another case of oops, I dolled it again. That's a hashtag for me for when you get a new baby. I still do have some babies in my nursery that I haven't introduced you guys to yet. Um, a couple of reborns that I haven't shown you guys yet and some um, manufactured dolls as well. Oh, and I wanted to make sure that you guys knew yesterday when I was talking about the fact that I would let a child maybe play with my manufactured dolls. It's not that I don't love them just as much as I love these. I just feel like they're more sturdy and they're made more to be played with instead of um, like the art dolls. You know, I'm just a little more careful with what I do with them and, um, you know, making sure that I don't have stuff on my hands and things like that. That's the only reason. It's not because they're more valuable to me. It's just because of the fact that they are hand painted. You know, I'm sure you guys understand that because I love all of my babies. All of my babies are precious to me. And I watch over all of them. If anybody picks up any of them, even my husband, you know, who's here with me and who is gentle with my dolls. But if there's one like in the way and I haven't opened the bed yet for the night and one of my babies is in the way, you know, I watch him to make sure that he's moving the baby gently and kindly, you know, because I really care for them. I really love them. And I know you guys love your babies, too. Well, I hope you enjoyed meeting your new niece and seeing the two of them together because I think they are so gorgeous and precious together. And I hope everyone out there is having a wonderful, fabulous day. And I wanted to say thank you for being a friend. And what else do we want to say, little Vanessa? What else do we want to say? We wanted to say jungle love to everyone. Have a fabulous and amazing rest of your day.